Welcome back to Fast Market here on the Schwab Network. It's time for our cash tag segment. segment. Uh, for that, let's bring in Megan Brantley. She's the Vice President of Research at Likefolio. Welcome back to the show, Megan. Thanks for having me, guys. All right, so we're talking Amazon. Uh, you know, stock's just off of 52-week highs. It's had a, a strong rally. They've had a couple strong quarters in a row where, you know, AWS continues to grow, maybe at a slower pace. But now retail picked back up at the end of 2023. Are you guys seeing good data to kind of equate to this stock price because uh, it's had uh, solid gains over the last uh, year or so? Yeah, whenever we look at Amazon in our universe, this is a beast. I mean, this is a company that we're pulling in more than or around 30,000 mentions a day of consumers who are talking about Amazon and different ways that they could be interacting with them. You hit on two of the big drivers of this. Uh, being its prime e-commerce service and then also its AWS cloud service. And whenever we look at this cumulatively, um, mentions are up by about 11% year over year. And so that's some nice growth, you know, but whenever we break this down by segment, we kind of have a tale of two stories. So let's, you know, we'll start with the best story first, and that is we see continued strength in its prime offering, its e-commerce. Whenever you look at this growth rate, we have that up by about 35% year over year. So that was a nice holiday season for Amazon. And I think another thing that is really helping Amazon here is they've really focused on their own logistics, their own fulfillment, own delivery. And they've also enabled other merchants to participate in you know, its own Amazon's logistics and fulfillment via Buy With Prime. And so I think that this is really helping to lift um, the engagement there from an Amazon perspective. And I think that, you know, when we look at this and we see, you know, relative you know, delivery weakness in UPS and in FedEx, we don't necessarily loop Amazon in the same pot there because we think that Amazon is just doing a better job of utilizing its own fulfillment system. And so uh, plus side for Prime, but then on the flip side, whenever we look at its AWS service, we see um, a continued loss of momentum there. I think mentions are down by about 15% year over year on our end. And we do see some signs of market share steal. So a little bit of a, a mixed bag whenever you look at our data for Amazon. So Megan, before we get to this topic, are you having a birthday today? Did your coworkers <laughs> throw you under the bus by telling us it's your birthday today, Megan? I know. I, apparently, Andy and Landon are singing, I guess. Oh, but yeah, it's birthday, absolutely. But thank you guys. They did. Happy birthday, Megan, from the family at Fast Market. Now, let's get to the question. What's the bigger story with Amazon? Is it the fact that they may be taking market share from UPS and part of the problems at UPS were actually Amazon outdo them? Or are they lacking behind in AI and maybe Microsoft has taken AWS market share from them? Which is the story that we think we'll be talking about tomorrow? And why, and it, I understand why you uh, compare, why your data is comparing Microsoft to Amazon and Google. But who, what's the other comparisons? Is, is there a retail, is there an e-commerce comparison? Because as you know, this company is big and has many divisions. Yeah, you know, these are two really good questions. I'll try to get both of them. So first, your question about what's the bigger story. I think in our data, the way that we are leaning, the bigger story is this market share steal um, from a name like Microsoft. You know, whenever we look at, you know, our scores even for this week, whenever we compare earnings scores for Amazon, Microsoft, and Google, we had Google at a negative 40. We had Microsoft at a plus 12. And a lot of that was driven by its um, earnings share. We've got Amazon coming in around negative 18, so in the middle of these two. So I think for us, whenever we look at those rankings, that weakness in AWS and potentially AI, like you mentioned, that's really starting to weigh on Amazon and its market share. Overall, whenever you look at these cloud references, last year, Amazon commanded about 63% of that market share volume. This year, whenever we look at this, that's down to 57%. So we do see those signs of market share steal, which is really concerning, and we do see overperformance by Microsoft. And I think on web visits, you can really see kind of that stack rank visits or the stack ranking that we have whenever we're trying to think of you know, approach earnings for all of these things. We did see Microsoft as a leader um, and we see Amazon and then obviously Google as more of a laggard. So that um, in terms of waiting, that's kind of how we're looking at it. But in terms of other potential competitors, I think what we're talking about when we talk about Amazon and this buy with prime option that lets 
merchants, you know, check out with Amazon and tap into those fulfillment options on their own websites, you know, that's a direct answer to Shopify. And we've seen Shopify perform really well. So this, I think, is Amazon stepping up to the plate and realizing that, you know, it's got to compete on that front as well. So it is positive to see, you know, for Amazon to see some traction there, especially with, with its prime service. But um, we are a little bit reserved um, heading into this earnings event just because of that weakness in AWS. Yeah, and uh, we saw re reacceleration in Google Cloud by a couple percentage points, and uh, Microsoft Azure, uh, they continue to grow uh, at a solid pace over 20%. Is that the key here? Because uh, the retail side, you know, they used to accept, uh, you know, flat as far as profitability on that. Now it's, it's ticked up to about 5% on profitability on the retail side. Maybe that turns around. But is AWS, because I'm looking at the stock price on your mentions, up 11% year over year on that comparison chart. Whenever I see that, you know, that correlation there where it gets to levels where mentions are about where the stock price is, that, that raises red flags for me, uh, uh, Megan. Yeah, you know, you're exactly right. That's why I really like this chart because you can see those mentions on the blue and you can see the stock price in the gray. And those two are getting really close together. And actually, you know, we have the, the gains in the stock are outpacing the growth in mentioned volume, at least on our end. And so this is partially what puts us in this technically neutral category. You know, anything, I talked about Amazon has a score of negative 18, anything positive 20 to negative 20 in our book is neutral. But if we were to pick a side, we would definitely, we would probably play this one to the downside just because partially of those high expectations and um, where our mention volume and where all the other metrics, like the web visits, like I showed, how all of those fall, it just doesn't necessarily support a move higher. All right, neutral on that, slightly negative, but not surprising just because of the move we've already seen yeah. in Amazon shares. Which you can say a lot about a lot of companies, but Amazon is certainly one of them. But there's some lingering issues out there yep. for Amazon that have to be resolved. Yep, uh, definitely. All right, great stuff, great data. As always, Megan, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right, that's Megan Brantley, Vice President of Research at Like